Howdy all you delicious people, another episode of Goosebumps. Yeah, so we are here again to play some more of this. Reason I think... Uh, I think the best thing of a day is to ultimately just watch a movie that actually still legitimately, actually still, one, holds up because most uh, older movies don't, uh, but really just really remembering finally about a, about a really good movie that actually, like, after seeing it, it, like, felt like, yeah, it's good that I went back into this again, and I felt like, uh, uh, like, remembering this again, because there's so much going on within this brain noggin, and so reasonably, I would just be, like, crap, what am I gonna watch today? What am I gonna, what am I gonna do uh, especially when going into knowing full well, it's like, okay, uh, I want to do two movies today. What are going to be those two movies? And reasonably, uh, the faculty ended up being one of them. And then last action hero was actually one of them that I was, uh, watching today. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to get those reviewed soon. Uh, reasonably, I'm just kind of like falling behind on, like, I ultimately will be saying in my head that I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to review these two movies and get those out. And then ultimately, I ended up, like, and I'm ending up just kind of falling behind on, uh, on review duties just because recently I'm just like, how about I just make it a lot easier today and I just do this and then just get that done. And... Reason that's great and all, uh, to just have projects already pre-done, uh, but when looking at it, it's just, it sucks, uh, a little bit just because you're, uh, trying to do, like, the best you can possibly do with, with projects, but, uh, really you just also just start to eventually, like, get exhausted, especially on the later uh, on the back end of the later episodes where you're just kind of, uh, really just, um, you've, you've done so many days where you're trying to get ahead of the game, and then you eventually get to the point where you're just like, yeah, I'm a little tired today. <laughs> so, pretty much all that forward progress you were doing just renders moot. Uh, man, I miss those days where I could just do, uh... Like, I would have, like, five days worth of content all, like, stored up to the heavens. And, but I think also that's, like, well, yeah, but you're not doing, uh, you're not doing, uh, two videos now. You're doing four videos now. So, ultimately, it's just kind of, like, uh, I think that's also why some of the videos are just much shorter now than they used to be. I'm just, like rushing through a lot of things just to kind of get them done and a lot of times i'm just kind of like watching the clock uh through some of the videos just because i'm like i just want to get them done i want i like i i want to try to get things done so quickly that i can uh ultimately just already think about the next day uh which is kind of the the weirdest approach about doing things is just like yeah i don't really care about today i just care about whatever's going on for the the next day what's going on tomorrow what i'm going to be uh, reviewing next and and try to get that done already uh to try to get ahead of the ahead of the curve but um like two i think when looking at it like uh i could probably cut my workload in half just by reasonably one uh just sharing stuff with people uh, would be a lot easier, but when looking at it, it's like, well, uh, it's hard enough to reasonably, one, uh, probably want people to do the exact same approach which I do things, uh, plus also, like, me just kind of, like, recanting and just going over the entire, f uh, an entire film is just, like, uh, a arduous process for some people, um, I'm going to get rid of these magnifying glasses. Actually, that was probably a dumb idea. Mm, oh, 
we could sell that thing, but we might, I don't know, keep that because we might need it for something later. Mm. Okay, so let's, I already have one of those already, right? Okay, so once that is being made, then we'll ultimately be made in the shade because we'll be able to sell those things. Okay, I don't have two of those. Uh, I can I can get this yo-yo here and sell that though. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid that you have to like, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, stop. No. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, okay, we have nine blobs. We can sell those. I'm not going to sell those because that has something to do with the story. Uh, what is the story that I need to be part of things? Okay. All right. Uh, good grief. Um, if anything, if not having, like, finger problems or whatever. But anyways, what was, what was the real thing that I was going to go into here for? So... Uh, movies that have consistently held up and when, uh, it all probably more, uh, more or less comes down to probably memory to where it's reasonably, crap, I should probably get magnifying glasses because I might want to get binoculars, but, uh, I want to get, can I get a thing of bread? I just want to get one thing of bread. I probably won't be able to use it, and what good will it be? But I just want one thing of bread. Uh, uh, let's go with groceries. But movies that have held up, like, I think reasonably... I thought it was kind of stupid that we had... We had, like, we, we'll have some people that have to tell you exactly, oh, well, this movie is so old, I can't believe that anybody still watches it. It's like... Who cares how something, how old something is? Everybody's going to have to look through everything to watch it eventually anyways. But uh, I actually love the fact that there is a, there are movies out there that I think uh, actually get better with time. I, I truly believe. Uh, but it's good to finally like watch like a movie like The Faculty or uh, even kind of re-watching things uh because ultimately I'm going to have to rewatch. Uh, I'm going to have to rewatch Chud soon and just re review that. Uh, because one, it's not, uh, I don't think that uh, that movie is uh, done in the uh, approach of which that I had started to do, anyways. Because uh, ultimately I want to just try to cover uh, uh, what is left of the reviews of the other channel. So ultimately it's either like, having every single one of those things come over here at some point. So recently I'm just kind of looking at whatever's left to scrape off from that one channel to come here. And there's uh, some of those videos where some of the setups are just kind of uh, the older approach. I used to just have kind of like movie background images and then I'd just talk over them, which uh, ultimately I don't, uh, like I will never probably go into that again because realizing how quite possibly at some point uh there could be just some copyright thing that ultimately i'm not aware of that all of a sudden well bam hey here's a copyright thing on your video and now it's your video is going to get removed uh that happened with one of my videos where ultimately it was just flagged for it having some copyrighted thing where somebody like saw an image image that i had in the background and they just decided like well uh we're gonna flag this video and have you uh or have YouTube basically just take it down. Hence why, like, any image, uh, like, going past this, uh, like, I, I really did try to avoid uh, having full-fledged images that I can't quite adjust at some point. Um, but, yeah, I thought that was, like, a learning curve thing. So, ultimately, that kind of eventually goes into my setup and stuff like that and how I do things. But, anyways, so... Movies that eventually hold up, I think, reasonably, I think there's a lot of points in time where people are just going to remake a lot of stuff. Uh, even when it there's no real justification for remaking it anymore. Uh, like, I hate reboots and remakes and whatever, but uh, when looking at it, I just feel that 
uh, people are going to want to just make money eventually. And so basically, uh, I honestly think, uh, you know, what would be actually honestly and truly perfect if they did it as a animated, uh, if they did it as an animated thing, I honestly think that you could probably make Goonies like an animated like series and like have it for like a young audience, probably if it wasn't for a young audience already. Like, they probably did an animated approach to that, where it's just, like, you have these kids that are consistently finding these, uh, like, these, like, undercover, or undercover, like, underground, like, treasures and stuff like that, and I think that would be kind of interesting story, like, it'd be kind of like National Treasure, but with the Goonies instead. Uh, you don't have Nicolas Cage in the movie, you have, uh, what would be a younger equivalent of Josh Brolin. So... I think that ultimately, I think that at a smaller scale would be much more like better off. Uh, I don't think that ultimately you can do a movie like Goonies uh, in live action really much anyways and have it work perfectly. Uh, I honestly think that uh, Mortal Kombat like did really well for an animated movie. But then they're... <laughs> but then they're stubbornly wanting to do live action... And ultimately, it's like, well, everybody's immediately saying and moaning and groaning that this live action movie won't do that well. Uh, but people who are fans of Mortal Kombat, if I could say it, uh, if I can say the words, um, reasonably are trying to be optimistic, but they've just realized that, like, probably eventually cut their losses. So. We have it to where within, uh, like, I think some old-fashioned movies, if they try to reboot them now and just kind of want, go, and, uh, go and have fun with it. Like, I think Last Action Hero, I think, would actually be pretty fun if they rebooted it now. I'm sure, of course, when looking at it, if they're going to reboot that thing, they're going to forcibly do it with Dwayne Johnson. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. Because basically Dwayne Johnson is basically the Arnold equivalent now. Like basically straight up when uh, when Dwayne did the movie The Rundown. We have it where Arnold is like, oh, go have fun. <laughs> and then he walks off. Kind of really showing that Arnold is kind of uh, tossing the torch to Dwayne. Uh, and then I think plus also like Dwayne was part of like Arnold's uh, like... Uh, like, uh, like, I know, like, Dwayne ended up being, like, passed down something that ultimately Arnold took, uh, took part in. Um, but anyways, let's go into... Yeah, because I heard pretty much every single Arnold movie that you've ever heard in, in past time is ultimately going to get, uh, like, uh, a sequel. I think we have to where Kindergarten Cop is getting a sequel, and... Like, every single other uh, uh, Twins is ultimately getting uh, the movie called Triplets or whatever. And I'm just like, God, really? I don't know. Like, is Junior going to get a sequel where we have, uh, like, two men ultimately getting pregnant and having a baby? Like, <laughs> is Danny DeVito going to have a child in that movie? I don't think that that's going to happen. But, man, would it be funny, though. Uh, I don't know, I just, uh, I just feel that there, like, there are some movies that I feel, like, the first Kinder Con, Kinder Car, Kindergarten Cop movie is good and all, but I don't think that that, more, that movie really works today. Um, but yeah, but interesting enough, it seems that uh, it's kind of interesting whenever I ask people, uh, cause I, I bizarrely just have to survey the lands of everyone. No, uh, eventually, like, when I keep, uh, I keep kind of going and kind of making the rounds and trying to be, like, social and try to, um, try to meet people and just kind of see, like, if, uh, like, with the conversation that I have with people... Maybe it'll spark uh, me, like, thinking or remembering about some movie uh, that, I'd, that I'd forgot about in a very long time. And ultimately, that's, like, an always interesting conversation where I'm like, 
oh yeah, I thought about like wanting to watch this movie and I still haven't watched it yet. Ultimately, I was talking to uh, someone today and I was mentioning uh, again about uh, the Disney movie Brother Bear. Where I'm like, yeah, like I was doing some movie quiz thing and ultimately I'm like, I really want to, uh, I really wanted to watch that movie because uh, ultimately I'd, like it's probably the only Disney movie that when looking at it, I was like, like, is this movie any good? What it was even about? Like, I remember seeing like the open season movies with uh, Ashton Kutcher and Martin Lawrence, and I thought those were actually funny, and I thought that they were actually pretty good. Uh, if you've never seen the open uh, season movies, I think that they're actually pretty decent films. Um, they kind of remind me of like Shrek in a lot of ways, but uh, but it's like kind of not that. Uh, I don't think it goes too off kilter with that, but. Uh, I thought that those movies, the open season movies, were kind of fun. Um, and I think, like, right around that time, I think right around when open season came out, I think maybe Brother Bear did. Um, but anyways, it's a moot point. So, uh, I'm assuming probably Brother Bear is, like, it had some snow environment. I'm like, what is this, like, Balto? Uh, but anyways, so... Yeah, but it's really interesting to just kind of see, like, what everybody, like, normally would watch. Like, every single time I would just go in and just, like, eventually uh, start... Uh, I would eventually just start talking with people and just be like... If anything, like, I watch kind of a lot of everything. So, when looking at it, like, I always, like, would mention that I'm kind of, like, just the mood ring of of movies and or TVs just because reasonably like mood ring meaning that um like whatever you're kind of into like I could figure out the equivalent of like well hey like how are you feeling today like like how are you feeling movie wise or show wise like if anything do you want to like uh, like are you watching are you trying to look for a horror movie today are you trying to look for a uh, uh, a movie that'll make you laugh today what are you into what are you kind of interested in that kind of like will decipher like via what people want like oh, okay well we'll watch this movie then or, or or watch uh this show then um but yeah so uh recently yeah it's it's kind of interesting to see like what people pick uh for it's like well people like I'm sure there's a lot of people that have a very small window of things that they like. Maybe they only like Nicolas Cage movies. And I'm like, oh, well, hey, have you ever seen uh, Vampire's Kiss? And they'll probably tell me no. I'm like, man, you need to see Vampire's Kiss. You need to see that goofy Nicolas Cage movie where you have Nicolas Cage ultimately, uh, like, uh, rambling out that he can uh, spell the alphabet where he's like, A, B, C, I know how to spell everything. I don't know how to freaking spell. Sh like, man, if you like, there's several times where I've uh, ended up going and I've like, I texted somebody. And then after I've texted somebody, I'm like, oh my God, this like some parts here, like doesn't look right. And I just am uh, like mortified. And, but ultimately I'm like, well, I'm not going to go back and re-edit the entire text all over again just uh i don't know like ultimately if they don't get it then i'll re-explain something but uh i think a lot of that time it just kind of comes down to just being like tired too where ultimately like you want to text somebody but then your just eyes are just like just not really all that there so you're just kind of um just kind of forcibly just like like i want to i want to talk to this person but then again i'm just a crappy speller or I'm a crappy uh, uh, texter, but uh, that's because I think ultimately, too, like, I'm thinking, like, so many steps ahead uh, when I am, like, texting somebody that's, like, where eventually we get to the, the whole thing of me just uh, forgetting about a step or two just because reasonably I'm like, eh, what am I saying? Uh, what am I saying exactly? Uh, and that's always the problem. But I don't know, it's just reasonably anyways uh going into uh but yeah so 
Like, if a person was just a fan of Nicolas Cage movies, like, I think that'd be fine. Like, I think Nicolas Cage movies, like, Nic- Nicolas Cage as an actor has been so well-rounded that he's kind of done a lot of everything. He's even done, like, uh, animated movies and stuff like that. He's done Disney films, like, I think the the Croods or whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, I think some people, like, it's okay if you only, like, a certain kind of thing. Um, but then I think uh, also people uh, have to just kind of like, well, uh, but I like this stuff too. And it's like, no, hey man, if one thing floats your boat, then by golly, float that boat. Like you don't have to justify things and whatever. Um, like for me, like again, kind of very just well-rounded, I'll just watch whatever. Like it kind of gets to the point where reasonably uh like whenever somebody just goes and starts talking about something like immediately i'm like oh yeah i i've i've seen this stuff before uh and ultimately i'll kind of like justify it uh any uh in any other text or whatever um like there's there's so much crap that uh and i don't want to say that like uh the person that likes this stuff is crap uh is it's crap stuff but there's so much stuff that i ended up watching and then immediately i'm like i am never going to ever like have this in the in my uh uh what is it rolodex or catalog or whatever of of knowledge and then funny enough uh because i because there would be times where i'd go to like uh friends or i'd ultimately just kind of have a girlfriend that ultimately watched something and then coincidentally like i would go and be like talking to somebody new and then be like oh yeah my favorite thing is so and so thing that otherwise ties into like what i'm uh what i'm talking to someone new with and i always think that that's kind of funny um like how kind of like we live in uh such a small world Uh, but I guess that's kind of inevitable, where eventually you're gonna eventually have, uh, somebody with like-minded, uh, interests and stuff like that, but, uh, when looking at it, uh, god, where am I going with on this one? Um, like, reasonably, when looking at it, I guess... Like, not everybody is the same. Like, that's not where I'm going with is Like, oh, everybody is watching the exact same crap. Urgh. It's stuff that I don't like. Urgh. No. Um, reasonably, yeah. Like, I had... Uh, let's get rid of these cans. But anyway, so yeah. So, reasonably there is stuff that uh, it's just kind of funny how i'm like i am never going to like think of watching this ever again in my life uh because i didn't enjoy it and then ultimately i'll hear other people that are ultimately just like oh my god i love this i love this so much and i'm just like why (laughs) why does everybody love that show i'm just not quite understanding exactly why the love comes into that show like Every single time I watch something, I immediately, like, hear about the Golden Girls. I'm like, why does everyone like the Golden Girls so much? Every single time I watch something, I'm reminded about the Golden Girls from somebody somewhere. And I'm just not quite understanding why people like the Golden Girls. I have not, There's nothing wrong about the Golden Girls. I never watched it. And so eventually, I guess I'll just have to finally sit down and watch that thing for reasons I don't quite understand in my in my mind, in my um in my noggin um but i'll but that's what i'll do to just justify why people like the golden girls um but yeah but i just hear it all the time from shows and and movies and everything about just golden girls like why (laughs) why (laughs) i don't know it's like also a thing where uh like, uh, like, I wish actually people would watch variety shows more. Like, good God. Could people just watch, like, a Black Mirror or a Blood Ride or a, uh, God, what are the other things? Uh, 
uh, what other variety shows are out there. Uh, like Outer Limits or something, Twilight Zones, something like that. <laughs> I kind of feel bad whenever it feels like I'm the only one in the world that actually watches those shows. Um, Goosebumps, there we go. Uh, very rarely do they have a, um, like, one thing that I kind of want to just watch for just nostalgic purposes is just Legends of the Hidden Temple. I think that show was freaking awesome. I think that they tried to do like a movie with it, but it didn't really work. Um, but I loved Legends of the Hidden Temple. You would just have like people getting asked questions and freaking they would have to go through the little obstacle course at the end of the show where you would just have people uh, in kind of tribal like things jumping out and grabbing people. Uh, what an awesome show. Uh, that kind of reminds me of, uh, the, uh, the MXC, uh, show where ultimately, like, don't get eliminated! And you'd have these people that would be, uh, that would be running through these obstacles, and they end up smacking into stuff, and it was hilarious. Like, Ninja Warrior tried to, like, do something quasi like that, but it... But their stuff isn't as funny as MX, uh, MXC, uh, to where you just, like, there was a lot of people that I think got hurt while doing MXC, and, uh, ultimately, I thoroughly enjoyed that show, um, because you'd have people that would always consistently get dubbed, and you'd have these people that obviously just could not give a rip about what their dubbed thing was, so they didn't dub exactly word for word what anybody said. A lot of times they would just be like, yeah, I'm getting dubbed. <laughs> and ultimately they would just run off. And I'm like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Uh, but ultimately that's the fun of the show where you just have these guys that would um, just be obviously not really dubbing word for word what these people are saying. But that's what made it even much more so hilarious while watching this back. Uh, but anyways, so, uh, let's sell these things, and let's sell this as well, and we're gonna keep those, let me keep those, um, but yeah, so, uh, where was I going with this? So, old, I don't wanna say old movies, cause I hate that word, because when looking at it, there's just a cluster F of so many movies that are out there now. Um, that have aged fairly well and ultimately have, uh, just been a thing that I watched at one some point and I was like, mmm, this sucks. Uh, like, kind of very rarely, like, they're, like, for me to really have a movie that ultimately, uh, here's the thing. So... I kind of know a movie that a movie is going to be bad like right away. Uh, there is a huge hesitation for me to no longer watch the movie or no longer watch the show fairly quickly within the show. But reasonably, there is also that like kind of a uh, brain noggin thing that goes into me that ultimately is just like, well, uh, this is going to be a good talking point on the channel, so why not just review this movie or review this show that ultimately people have seen or heard or talked about at some point in time. And so you kind of have to forcibly then strap yourself down and watch this show, even though you're going to hate it. <laughs> you're going to hate it! Um, but yeah, but... Uh, so recently, it's kind of interesting to, to hear what people have to say about the things that they like. Um, I'm hoping to eventually get back to and finish up a lot of the things. Uh, so ultimately, I feel there's a lot of stuff where I've kind of left in the lurch, and it's getting annoying to me. Um, but there's also nothing I can do about that, too. It's just I want to do simpler projects, or I want to just try to do... Uh, things that I deem are going to have a view, a bigger high viewing count. So I'm just trying to find that bigger high viewing count kind of thing. And eventually when reviewing movies, that's the most difficult part. 
on uh, the other channel. I review uh, stuff on Grim Death Griffin. Uh, if people didn't know, as if I have to promote it now, because I've talked about it several times. Um, but yeah, but uh, there's some stuff that I'm going to try to keep uh, that were on here over there. Uh, and there's some stuff that I just don't want to review again. <laughs> Not that because it's, like, a bad movie or whatever. There's some stuff that I just don't want to, like, take the time to just talk about again. And ultimately, I feel that there are some movies that reasonably... Uh, there are some movies that I think I have to forcibly re-review. Uh, just because reasonably uh, I won't be able to transfer them... From this channel to that channel, there's some bizarre-ish, like, uh, thing pending where it ultimately won't let me download stuff from, uh, from X said channel onto the other channel. So I'm like, well, crap. Well, I want to talk about this movie. Fine, that's what I'm going to have to forcibly do. Um, I think that's what I'm going to have to forcibly do with the, the Chud movie. Uh, I'm going to re-review that and put that on the channel because I actually really enjoy that movie, uh, even though it's really goofy. And, uh, then I think I'm going to have to re-review, uh, the movie Upgrade as well, uh, because reasonably that's a film where ultimately wouldn't let me, uh, just download it and go onto the other channel. Uh, but I think it's also kind of whatever's kind of left on this channel is probably really just... I think much more of a benefit to just uh, redo it anyways, because I think a lot of the stuff that is kind of left on this channel is uh, mostly just ones where I didn't have like certain kind of setups or I didn't have some kind of approaches like IMD being stuff for ultimately I uh, learned people's or characters names while reading off uh, uh, while, or while coming up with whatever was coming up in the movie. Or the show or whatever. And plus there was a lot of times where I just kind of... There was there was some reviews that ultimately when I did in this channel... Uh, that I kind of really phoned them in. Uh, reasonably. Just because it was like... I don't want to have to do a whole entire setup today. Like I don't want to have to just like go in and, and thoroughly... Uh, like take the time and... and have to get to know everyone's name in this movie or whatever so ultimately i'm just gonna do this review in a very simplistic way because ultimately i was uh at that point where a lot of times i was just exhausted and i was just like you know what i just want to just uh just uh kind of do this kind of quickly and just kind of describe people i think there was some variety shows like a black mirror or a um uh, a blood ride where I was just like, you know what? I don't want to take the time to say every single actor's name and stuff like that. Uh, I just want to go into and just describe the episode to people. And I think that that would just be a lot easier and a lot quicker than having to scroll through IMDb for hours upon hours uh, to find every little actor or whatever. I think that that would have just taken way too much time uh, that I really would have wanted. And so... Reasonably, I think we're going to call this one an episode. Thank you guys for otherwise just kind of going into every one of these episodes and just kind of listening, whatever I have to say. A lot of times, it's a lot of just garbage, and I apologize, but... Uh, or it's a lot of times, it's just kind of broken record things where I'm just kind of, like... It's the kind of the same kind of uh, going on. Uh, usually, I just talk about movies, or I just talk about, uh, like... Uh, whatever past things happened in my life but when looking at it also uh, it's just the fact of just really running out of stuff to say <laughs> yeah like 30 minutes and you just gotta fill it with time so uh, there's only like I think I should probably at some point just going on a rant of talking about tv shows uh, just because I don't think I talk about that enough it's usually either movies or kind of something of my past uh but anyways i think i'm gonna get out of here goodbye everybody goodbye everybody